Okay, first we're going to need to download an app called Critter onto the computer. If you already have Critter downloaded, then you can skip to the time on the screen. Okay, well, so you need to download Critter. First, type in Critter Download into the search bar. Hit enter and click on Critter Desktop dash download. Click on all download versions and find the one that you need. I'll be using Windows Installer 64-bit. And it will start downloading. Okay, once Critter is finished downloading, go ahead and open up File Explorer. Here you'll see these options. Press on Downloads. Here you'll find CritterSetup.exe. Double tap. If it comes up and says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, click on yes. This is the way that it installs. Choose your language. Hit OK. Hit next. Accept the terms and agreements. Choose the install location. Hit next. Press I agree. Hit next and then hit install. It will start to install. Wait for it to install until it's done. Open Critter. Once you've opened Critter, go to New File, go to Width, and enter in 3840 by 2160, since those are the max height of a YouTube video. Click on Create. Once the canvas loads in, it should look like this. First, we're going to unlock the background. Then, for me, I'm going to change the background to red. Next, I'm going to go to layer, import slash export, and I'm going to import the critter icon. You can import any image you want, but for me, since this is part of my tutorial, I'm going to use the critter icon. Next, I'm going to go back to layer, import slash export, and import. I imported a picture of myself. I'm going to cut the picture out using this tool. Zoom all the way in and start to cut it. Okay, I've cut out all of me. Next, I'm going to hit Control C at the same time and then Control V, which copy and paste it. Next, click on box and then just click on anywhere really fast and don't drag. Then you can remove the non copied layer. There you go. Now that I have a cut out of me, I'm going to zoom back out. And I'm going to resize the image right after I flip it. Put it in the corner, size it up, move me back a little bit. Okay. Now we've got it pretty basically. But we're gonna add some more to it. We're gonna get this tool and make a giant box. Then click on the background. Click on the paintbrush tool, set the size to whatever, or we'll set the size to full, I guess. Then go to blue and color it blue. Nice, okay. Now we're going to get a little bit fancy. Right here, we're going to cut out on this line. So we're going to highlight this part of the box, try and get it a little bit perfect. 
we're going to select the image that you have of you, copy it and paste it with control C and control V. Then we're going to cut out this part as well, copy and paste. Then we're going to delete the main one. Okay. So we've done that, but what was that for? I have still got no idea why we had to do that. Well, that's because we're going to add some lighting effects. First, click on the part where it's inside the box. Then layer style. Go to outer glow and tick it. Then click on the outer glow text. It should look something like that. Go to opacity and turn it up to 100. Go to the white box and change it to red. Okay, it's not very noticeable, but it's getting there. Next, go to size and we'll turn it up to whatever we want. But for the example, I've turned it up a whole bunch. And yeah, next we're gonna click on OK. It's not very noticeable, but it's better than nothing. Next, we're gonna go to where the finger is. Click on layer style, add a glow once again. Opacity 100, size to the max. Click on this and then go to blue. Press OK again. This is going to give it just a little bit more, uh, well, style, I guess you could say. You could also move this in front of there and yeah, that should help a little bit. Next for the critter or whatever you want to do icon, we go to layer style again, but this time we're going to do drop shadow. Drop shadow adds a shadow, obviously. Now, the critter icon already has a shadow, but we can make a better one. I'm going to turn the opacity, we're going to leave it at 75. Distance, 50. Size, 50. I think that looks pretty good. Now, we're going to go to Pattern Overlay, Tick it. And it should something look like this. That does not look good, obviously. But we're going to make it look better. So. First, go opacity and change it to 50. Scroll down and click on any of the patterns that you want. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using this one. The pattern could look good already. But obviously, we're going to make it try and look a little bit better. For me, I'm going to change the opacity down to 20. It's not very noticeable, but it adds that extra detail. Then I'm going to lower down the scale to 50. Again, not a very big change, but sometimes it could help. But for me, I'm just going to put it back up to 100, since I think that looks the best for my creation. Now that we're pretty much done our thumbnail, you can add more stuff at will. But for me, I'm going to go up here to File, Save As. This box is going to open up that says Saving As. I'm going to go down here, turn it from CRA to PNG. We're going to name the file anything we want. For me, I'm going to name it thumbnail tutorial one then we're going to press save okay and now we can close critter